okay hey welcome so in this video i'm going to talk about variables in integration so how you can create variables what mechanism you have to use to create variables and how to use that variable assign values to variables all these things so i have just initiated the integration in that integration i have added one endpoint so if you will see in this endpoint we are receiving two values as a, a request payload and returning back the status so here you can see that we have pnum1 and pnum2 and also we have one operation p operation that is plus so if user will enter here minus so we will go for uh, some uh, some operation so i will implement this logic later but right now what i have to do is that i have to use variables to assign these values to the variable and then use and in response i am returning back the addition of that values okay so let me just create uh, complete the integration so that i can use that variable so friends how you can create variables in integration so for creating variables in integration we have assign we have assign so using this assign we can create variables we can assign values to that variables remember this variables is local variable so for creating the local variable assigning value to the local variable updating the val local variable we will use assign so let me first create the variable so for creating variables you have to drag that assign over here and give any name to that assign so suppose i am going to give the name assign var okay create so here you have created assign endpoint you have not created variable yet so now it's time to create variables so inside that assign we are going to create variables and we are going also going to update the variables so we will see so first we have to create the variables for creating the variables you have to just click on this plus icon and here you can see that in variable name section default this value is coming here so you can change that value and give your name give your variable name so i will give that var underscore num1 okay this is my variable name and default that variable type is a string and you cannot change the type so whatever value you will put it will be considered as that so here var num1 and here in this var suppose okay so right now while creating the variable it's mandatory to assign any values right so right now what i will do i will just create the variable not design and assign value so here in assign value i will just give double quotes as a empty empty value so it's you can say that we don't have error right so we have to create another variable also so here we will create another variable okay var underscore num2 okay same we will repeat with this also okay validate and close so here we have created two variables we will map this two variable with the uh, request payload whatever we receive and we required one more variable to store the sum of these two value right so here we will create another variable var underscore and i will give the name to the variable as sum or result okay result and the initial we will put empty in that variable nothing just close so now you can see that we have created one assign inside that assign we have created three variables like right? assign is endpoint over here and these three are the local variables so just validate again and close so now you can see that inside this assign var endpoint we have created three variables now it's time to map that value with that variable so here in this endpoint we have request payload that is pnum1 pnum2 and p operation so we are not going to use operation in this integration because uh, we will use this uh, later for explaining the other element okay so here we have to map these two variable with that variable we have created okay so here we have created the variable so now for mapping what i told you that for creating the variable we are using assign for assigning the value to the variable or updating the variable we are also using assign so again we will go and drag this assign here and here we'll give the name so update assign update because we are not going to create a variable we are updating the variables just click now here it's coming same because both are same right so what we have to do we have to click on this create icon and if you will see create icon we have automatically coming here name but right now we don't want to create any variable we want to use previous variable so just click on this drop down icon and select the previously created variable whatever variable you want to update so here i want to update the var name one 
and in that var name one i want to assign value so just go edit and here earlier we put that random value right empty value but right now we have to update so what we have to update we have to update with this pnum so here we will drag this number here okay but if you will see this pnum is numeric right but you can see that we created variable as a string variable so what we will do we have function number function okay so we will use this number function here okay so we have two way we can directly type this number or else what we can do is that we can remove here so here we have functions all the functions provided over here right so here you just type number and you can see that we have number function we have a string time and all so we required number function that will convert that a string into number so here this is my number value and just done validate and close same thing i will do with var name 2 also right so here we have var num 2 okay now here we have to just go and we have to map this so just type number map and close the bracket validate and close now what we have to do we have to done save validate close so here you can see that here using this assign where we created three variables using assign update we updated the variable num1 and num2 and now we will again assign another variable another assign in that assign we will calculate sum okay assign sum okay just click on create and now again we will select here and we will this time we will select this var result and in that result what value we want to assign we want to assign this var num1 and var num2 all the variables all the elements created in that integration you can see in left side so here we have num1 so we'll drag num1 plus we have num2 so we will drag this two and just go validate you can see that expression var num1 plus var num2 okay but here we have to convert this because this variable is considered as a string so we have to convert this string to number so again we will do same thing number and here we are converting right a string to number okay now validate and close so here you can see that number var num1 plus var2 so again validate and close so here you can see that we have follow three step first step create variable update variable and add the update the sum variable to add the sum of that two value values right so our integration is completed what we need to do is that we need to just save and activate this integration and run the integration so in this integration we have learned how to create variables how to use variables in integration so let runs enable tracing so that we can see the log messages and all okay just write it oh yeah this activated now so just go and run test so here in body section you can see that we have passed 20 and 30 10 so just click on the test and you can see that okay sorry so right now if you will see here we don't have response because we have not not mapped response yet that's why we don't have response over here but if you will see in the tracks logging log messages all the operation we perform is listed here so here you can see that integration is started with this two value right plus 20 and 30 plus 20 and 30 you can see that and now we have create variable assign variable so in this assign variable you can see that in assign endpoint we have created three variables where where num1 num2 and result and all the variable initially is initiated with that nothing like dual quotes only so here we consider we don't have anything now after that we created one another endpoint that is sign update inside that we update the two variables so we updated var num1 with 10 var num1 with 20 based on that you can say based on that parameter in response in request uh, passed in request and now here we updated assign sum in assign sum we added the sum value you can see that var result was assigned with 30 so now we don't have mapping that's why it's not coming in response so let me go and first add the mapping okay just deactivate yeah edit 
and dear friends if you want to ask anything if you have any queries related to these things anything you can just comment below and now this is the mapper right this is the response mapper this is a request wrapper request endpoint this is the response mapper so i have to map this result in this mapper so just edit in you can see that in response we have two values process message and result so in process message i will put su success so here in process message just right click create target node and give the hard coded value as as you will see the success and in the result value result um, node we will map the result variable so here we have result variable just map with that click on validate and close just save close now run integration again it will show you the value in response so go activate it will take some time to activate just just reload again you can see that it's activated just go and test so here we will this time we will pass 200 plus 90 and now just click on test so here you can see that we got the response as success and the value as 290 with the same operations performed suppose if we will pass 20 plus 90 you can see that it's converted into 110 it's <coughs> giving the result 110 so this is the basic integration where we learn how to use assign how to create variables and update and all thank you so much for watching you can continue watching another videos for learning purpose thank you so much